Hydrogen Fuel Cell Car by Matthew McCauley, Raul Tejwani, and Haitha Mawan. The engineering and design process. How did we develop, create, and test our model? The first step in the engineering and design process is identifying the problem. The problem was that we needed to create a moving car that is able to sustain the weight of a hydrogen fuel cell while both performing well, moving fast, and covering a large distance. The car has to be developed in a matter of weeks and made from scratch. Research. First, we researched and decided that our car needed to be lightweight and minimize friction between our axles, wheels, and axle holes to maximize performance. We tried to make our car as aerodynamic as possible. Our car needed to hold the dimensions and weight of a hydrogen fuel cell. At first, we decided to create our design out of wood because we had all the material readily available. After creating our model, we realized that our design was extremely heavy and would not move with the power of a hydrogen fuel cell. Brainstorming. We talked together and thought of possible ideas and materials to build our car out of. Then, we drew sketches for possible designs. We decided on rough dimensions of about 8 cm by 14 cm. We obtained a piece of pine wood to carve our design out of and marked the dimensions on the wood. We also attempted in creating a CAD model in case the wooden model failed. Plan. Our plan was to use our school's wood shop to create our model. We will use wooden skewers as axles and plastic wheels. I will cut the length of the wood using a miter saw and rip the wood's length using a table saw. I will use various sanding belts to create the shape of the car. Materials needed. 5 inch by 7 inch piece of pine wood, 2 wooden skewers, 4 pine wood derby car wheels, hot glue, hydrogen fuel cells, motor, gears. Creating a prototype. Our prototype was finished, but before adding wheels, we quickly realized just how heavy our car was. It was at this point that we switched to a 3D printed model, very similar to our original design. Instead of it being made of wood, it was made out of plastic, very lightweight. Revision and redesign. The wooden design was far too heavy to move, so last minute we opted for a 3D printed model of the car. Our car is 7.62 centimeters by 14.61 centimeters in our new design. We used the application Tinkercad.com to create our CAD model. Our print was created on our school's Dremel printer, and it was made out of red ABS filament. Due to a printing error, however, the front piece snapped off. This ended up being less weight in the end, so I was able to make it work by adding our axle to the front. Here's our final product. You can see our CAD model and how our car actually turned out with the hydrogen fuel cell, motor, and gears attached to it. Fuel cell function. How does the fuel cell power our design? Redox reaction. Definition. A chemical reaction in which electrons are transferred between two reactants participating in it. Understanding. The hydrogen fuel cell is activated by the transfer of electrons. Therefore, redox reaction is what causes the car to move. Other examples of redox. When cells convert sugar into energy, when plants photosynthesize sunlight, and when a battery powers an electronic device. Summation. The name of the game is electron swapping. Waste products. Definition. An unusable or unwanted substance or material produced during or as a result of a process such as metabolism or manufacturing. Understanding. The excess substance that is created through a process that is not useful. Other examples of waste products. Garbage, sludge, organic waste. Summation. Excess unneeded materials that are a product of a process. Connection. Release tubing. Used to release pressure from the system. Charging. Cells are charged by connecting to a power regulator. Motor. The fuel cell stack is connected to the motor through red and black leads. Mass capture. Known as electrolysis, the use of electrical energy to produce a chemical change. In our case, bonds between hydrogen and oxygen are broken, and hydrogen is stored as a fuel source. Through the connections mentioned on the last slide, hydrogen is removed from the distilled water and stored in syringes. It is then used as a fuel to power the car. Hydrogen fuel cells and the future. Hydrogen fuel could replace many things in the future. Petroleum, coal. Hydrogen fuel must be improved to be implemented because it is currently not efficient enough to be used commercially. The motor. What machine rotates our gear and our axle? So the connection of the motor 
to the fuel cell. So the fuel cell is able to transfer the energy into the motor through a positive and negative wire that we have on the fuel cell. So in this picture, you can see the battery is basically the fuel cell and there's one negative side of the battery and one positive side and that transfers the energy into the two sides of the motor. So if you put, let's say the negative wire on the left and the positive wire on the right, uh, like ports of the motor, it'll change the way that the motor spins. So if you put it on one side, it'll spin to the left, and if you put it on the other side, it'll spin to the right. So torque multiplication. So basically what this is, is you wanna try and make your gears spin as fast as possible so that your axles spin, spin as fast as possible. So basically what we did was we placed a large gear, a large gear on the motor and a small gear on the axle so that we can get the max rotations. So the motor spins at a constant rate, at, let's say one revolution or five revolutions per second. But the gear on the on the axle, one one tooth on that on that on the motor corresponds to one tooth on the axle gear. So if the gear on the on the axle has much less teeth, it'll spin multiple times for one rotation of the gear motor. So for the chassis shape and material usage, basically what we want to do is we just wanted to make our car as aerodynamic as possible. So we made it flat so that the air, there'd be no air resistance and it would just move smoothly through the air. And also we made it out of plastic so that we can reuse the materials when it's done. And also it's very light, so the car will go very fast. And for trial and error, we, we tested so many things with this car. We tested different materials, and ultimately we came to the conclusion that uh, plastic was the best, obviously, that's what we used. And we also tested the car many times to find the perfect gear ratio to make it move as fast as possible. So we tested different gears on the, on the motor and different gears on the axles, and then we eventually came to a conclusion for what would be the best for our car. And here's a short video of our car working. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed.